for the travels, uh, the best thing we have is the unique nature. And uh, obviously being in the middle of the Atlantic uh, is something unique. Everywhere you look in this Portuguese archipelago are signs of the Azores geological past and an incredible array of horticultural bliss. Plants, wildlife, where the past meets the present. We land in uh, the airport in Ponte Delgada. Uh, the town is only about 10 minutes away. Um, we have uh, great four-star, five-star hotel accommodations. And um, it's very easy to get around. The people are very friendly, and the culture is just fantastic. The Azores are also modern in many ways, with a flair for the good life, food, and wine, thermal pools, and steaming calderas, constant reminders of a simple way of life. And as we are about to discover, some truly great golf. The Azores are, for beginning, a sanctuary in the middle of the North Atlantic. It's very, very interesting. And people, they come here because they can feel safe here. They can find different shades of green. And it's very, very interesting, even for the golf practice. Azores, nine islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a lot of fun here. It's beautiful. It's lush green everywhere you look. We are golfing at the Azores on this edition of Golfing the World. Day one on our little journey and a quick drive up the road from Ponta Delgada we find the championship course of the Azores called Battalion. Battalion has that classic European feel, one with a rich history and proud tradition of regularly hosting PGA European events, all in the beautiful surroundings of this lush and tropical outpost. Battalion is a very different sort of setup. There are three loops of nine holes there. They've just recently played a seniors tour event on the European tour there, which was a huge success. They've got, like I say, three loops, the A, B and C. A and B make up the championship course. And uh, a test of anybody's golf, five under par was the winning score for the seniors tour championship. So a pretty good reflection of how tough the course can play when the wind blows. Okay, we have made it a short direct flight from Boston, only four hours to the Azores. Nine islands here. We are on Sao Miguel, that's the biggest of the nine islands. Two golf courses here, Fernash and Pattaya. And there are three nines here at Pattaya. It is my favorite time of the day, late afternoon. And we are hitting them in the Azores on this edition of Golfing the World. In our first look around the course, we discover many elements unique to the volcanic nature of the Azorean Islands. All kinds of plants and rocks form some pretty interesting hazards. Maybe none so dangerous as the amazing views. It's a beautiful day out here now, Stephen, and uh, Troon Golf manages a lot of uh, great resorts on the planet. You must be very proud of that. Yes, absolutely. Glad to be part of the uh the association and the company. We manage a little over uh, 185 golf courses worldwide and uh, we're managing over 42 facilities in uh, Europe, Middle East. Wow. So it's fantastic. If I can put my finger on the one characteristic that stands apart, it would be the volcanic rock that fills every corner of the golf course and really makes for an unusual and fascinating backdrop quite unique around here, especially around the islands, is um, there was so much volcanic material that uh, the uh, local 
uh, the locals had uh, cleared the land and built all these tremendous um, lava rock walls and uh, stone houses. And we'll take you up to the sea golf course and you can get a better view of some of uh, those types of structures that still exist on the golf course. And we'll keep those integral with the golf course. Um, but that hole is number four. It's uh, the longest par, par five that we have. Uh, it stretches a little over 625 yards. Wow. That's good. Nice. Batalia is a place where they combine natural elements with outstanding maintenance and conditions, first of all. Some of the holes, like the par 3 15th, well, they're just plain fun. Big elevation changes to well bunkered greens. The green itself is elevated, nicely shaped and manicured, just perfect for the vacation and golfer. As you can see down towards the uh, left side of this hole here, uh, they have all the natural stone walls that uh, they built uh, centuries ago. Most greens here are elevated, which is way cool, making the approach shots that much more important. And as we said before, creating some incredible views during your round. I'm feeling great. We're here with the Azores, having a grand old time with our boy Steven out here. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the sky is blue, and occasionally my ball's going straight today. Come on. So what's better than this? Well, nothing. It's not every day that we get to visit this neck of the woods and actually hit some great shots. Thank you, Golf Tech. And of course, it helps when your playing partner can share a little local knowledge. Because at over 7,000 yards, you're going to need every bit of advice to maneuver through Battaglia Golf Course. Good uh, practice facilities and teaching facilities, if uh, you call it. Uh, we've got a big driving range. And it's uh, 100 meters wide by 300 meters long, so there's plenty of space in that area. We've got uh, a nice short game facilities with bunkers and, and the big green. And we've got two large putting greens, so we can combine the whole uh, uh, programs that we normally do. And we also have three um, par three holes that we start the, all the golfers there and then uh, we take them to the golf course to see all the, uh, the real hole from tee to green. Amazing what a few lessons can do for your game. That and a little knowledge of the landscape. Hey, at all these courses we visit, it's always better the second time around. Wow. Woo -wee. That is pretty cool stuff, isn't it? I mean, we're sort of walking in history here at Patalia. You gotta believe some of the structures are literally centuries old, huh? Pretty cool. Get home, Charlie Brown. That's pretty cool, too. I never get tired of that sound, you know, when it rolls in the cup like that. <laughs> All right, this is the uh, seventh on the uh, A course here at Battaglia. 352 yards, nifty looking little par four. I'm probably going to drive the green. I'm looking for an eagle putt here. <laughs> yeah, right. Most fairways are long, but wide. So if you do hit it straight, anything is possible. 